Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about sacrococcygeal teratoma imaging. Teratoma germ cell tumor of coccyx sacrococcygeal teratoma. Teratomas are made up of various parenchymal cell type from more than one germ cell germ layer and usually all three. Sacrococcygeal teratoma arise from coccyx, potentially grow both internally and externally, both benign and malignant, up to 17% variety occur. Most common sign symptoms frequently diagnosis in utero, light fetal tumor. To require C section delivery or in utero surgical intervention open with a surgery or radiofrequency or thermal ablation of human. Most other uh, diagnoses diagnosed within first two days of life. A sophistic mass uh, easily diagnosis clinically. Type of lesion can present in childhood with urinary retention, bowel issue, classification on scoliosis style. Arterial venous shunting in human increase output cardiac, high output cardiac failure. Other signs symptoms in utero complication, fetal sacrococcygeal teratoma can be quite vascular and grow rapidly, leading to hydro, intratumoral hemorrhage or rupture, increased fetal demand. Hydro before certificate gestation, more than 90% mortality rate. Maternal minor syndrome may develop. Demography. A typically diagnosis in fetus and newborn. Delay diagnosis are possible in childhood, rarely in a bar. Epidemiology prevalent. One in 14,000 to 40,000 birds. Always has three sacra component. Exophytic extension is more common than internal growth. Heterogeneous mixed solid and systems. Classification fat hemorrhage is very substitute in mass. Solid component may so moderate to high vascular regime. MI is best for identifying intraspinal extension. This is a lateral radiogram. So a newborn infant with a light exophytus mass. Extending from the sacral and postsecure region, a few classification are visible within the mass, typical of a sacral postsecure teratoma. This is t 2 in a newborn infant, so in heterogeneous solid mass protruding externally. With lumbar extension, internal splaying with the aortic vivification. In this case of the type two sacrococcygeal teratoma. This is T two FSMA in a three years old boy. So a high signal intensity solid mass surrounding the toxic but not reaching the skin surface. It is a type for sacro toxicia teratoma. This is T2 amine in a new bone, so dumbbell shape, mixed and cystic high signal intensity mass starting from the low abdomen into the external component 
not the elevation and dilation of the urinary bladder, the ascites was secondary to hydro and delivery. This is Tituama in this newborn with sacrococcygeal teratoma diagnosed in utero, so a predominantly fatty mass inside cling with toxics and extending distally from the bottom. And this is T1C plus FSMA in a newborn infant, so a large histolysis component of the sacrococcygeal teratoma relative to the smaller pre sacral component. Treatment, complete surgical resection to include coxing. Benign tumor do not require additional therapy. Malignant tumor are treated with chemotherapy, cardinum-based agent, and radiation. Consider consideration if in utero intervention, the development of early IGO must be benefit with the risk of prematurity. Thank you.